Okay, so first of all, uh, have both of you done your initial tests when it comes to what pathway that you're going to be going or down or tracking? Girish, you go first. Uh, I have, yeah. yeah you I have? A little quiz thingy, yeah. Okay, so do you recall just off the top of your head what your pathway actually is? Uh, I don't, but I can look that up now, actually, if you want. That's all right. It, it, they're really, yeah, it's quite dry. Unless you're doing humorous, you know, that's one that's easy to remember. So, so I've actually prepared my desktops. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go into my own personal pathways so that yeah. we can just sort of follow it, you know, through the journey, through my uh, And pathway. I have enrolled for dynamic leadership. Pardon? I have enrolled for dynamic, dynamic, dynamic leadership. Dynamic yep. leadership. Okay. Yep. And please excuse me. I do have a, a cat here who likes oh. to be involved with <laughs> yes. yeah, Zoom good. meetings. She loves it. She loves Zoom. So here we go. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. uh, if I remember how to do that now. Share screen. There we go. It's kind of weird. Now I start to, I will get a little bit lost, but I am prepared here. Yeah. Okay, I, I actually had to log into the Frankston uh, website to yep. get the Zoom link. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm already in there, yep. into that side of things, which we will just dive into fairly soon. Okay, now with this is the Toastmasters International yep. International website. So I'll just log in. Now, for some reason, I'm meant to be the expert at this, but of course, I still have to just, I don't do this every day. So I do have to, I will probably stumble along a little bit as well. And that's going to be the same for you guys too, because yeah. you're just going to log in intermittently. If you do this every day, it'll be so intuitive. But because it's, we're doing this on a voluntary basis, it can feel a bit clunky. And some people, some, especially some of the older Toastmasters, they go, oh, I don't like pathways because they're used to a manual system and it's paper and it's and it's physical, whereas this is just slightly different. If you did this every day, you would, would be straight into it and you know where you would be going as well. I think for an extra $25, you can still go old fashioned way. Yeah, yeah. And even the other way to do it too is, because yep. uh, I don't think all the manuals are actually printed now, but um, you can even print this out yourself when, mm -hmm. when you finally log in and yep. if you got to the right spot, you can print it. Okay, so first of all, we come down to, you'll be logging into Pathways along the top here, and then you yep. go to Basecamp. Yep. Frankston. But because some people are multiple uh, members of multiple clubs, yep. then the choices are here. So I used to be a member of La Trobe Valley, so that would have popped up here as well. Yep. Sam Meyer is a member of another club too, so he would have the same thing. Now I'm back to Frankston. Yep. But I've actually got two pathways, which you will see pop up. Mm -hmm. Is there an option, Andrea? We can choose more than one? Uh, d definitely. It, yep. It's an additional cost. I think yep. it's about $20 US. It might have gone up in the last couple of years. Yep. But um, over COVID times, Toastmasters International offered us a free pathway because of yep. that we couldn't meet face to face. It was a bit of a, a generous offer to, to keep people engaged. Yep. So I'm actually in two pathways. So I'm in, oh, I'm in yep. engaging humor yep. because that was my second choice because I just thought I'm going to do something completely different. And I did start that with my other club, but with Frankston, I, yep. I started with motivational strategies. Yep. So you click open curriculum yep. 
and you can see here that it's uh, I've already gone through level one, level two, and I'm at level three. So yeah. if I went back to level one, mm -hmm. you can see that I've done my icebreaker, evaluation and feedback, researching yeah. and presenting. Yeah, everybody that starts pathways actually starts with exactly the same level one. Yeah. So that's across the board there. Level two, if I go to level three, Let's pretend that I am going to, interesting, understanding emotional intelligence. I actually thought mm -hmm. that I had completed that off. Maybe I haven't. Oh, it does say completed. It says completed. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, just yeah. Launch. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's still, I have to, I'm verbalizing what I'm seeing, whereas if I'm doing this by myself, I would be just, oh, hang on a moment. That's right. So elective projects, I actually completed one of my allergic elective projects a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to do an, another elective. Yep. It should be here. Hmm, maybe it's not. Maybe it's further down. It's about doing a podcast because I actually recorded a podcast. Uh, via video and audio yesterday. So I thought it was actually one of my electives and I thought, oh, that'd be great. I can show you guys. So let's just say, for example, know your sense of humour. I think that might be a good one to do anyway. Mm -hmm. So let's just um, click on that. Yep. So what it does is activate. Yep. And when it activates, it's not just you that has activated it. This information goes back to the Vice President of Education and at the moment that is, I think it's Simon, I think it is, uh, it's not the Dean, I don't know, I, get, I still get confused with who does what role, but it's actually the person who looks after the educational program within the club, yeah. so they, they get a little email to say, hey, uh, Porna's clicked on this and has actually started this um, process. Yep. So, so that's why it's really important to launch it. You can go view, to view training details. So there's no time limit to complete that module? No, there's not. Yep. Okay. Again, I've clicked through to the wrong thing. It just shows how far you've progressed through it. Yep. Uh, I just need to move my screen up a bit, I think. I don't know, maybe just launch. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks yeah, for spending time with us. Oh, no problem. Yeah, thanks for doing this. Yeah, it is yeah. Helpful. <laughs> One day it would be you guys doing it for somebody else. Oh. You only, and you learn by teaching, of course, too. That's the most important thing. So what it does, it goes into that back end of Toastmasters International and it starts to drag up all the information about that particular project. My cat is sitting right next to me. She's very patient at the moment. Yep. <laughs> I shouldn't speak too soon. Okay. So if this is the old fashioned system, this would be very much like the manual. Yep. And you can hit begin and it goes through the preamble there. Click that through. Now, what I do is when I get to this point here, I actually click that. I think it opens in the second page. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one that this is a bit of a checklist, first of all, like a pre checklist of, of what you think or where, where you're at and everything, yeah. like that, and what you need to do. So what I tend to do, this is a personal thing. It's not a Toastmasters thing, but in the spirit of being super organized mm -hmm. is that I would actually download this particular file yep. and I pop it into a folder that I've got sitting in my a Dropbox, let's mm -hmm. say, and I name that folder 
this particular project and drop that into that folder. Yep. We'll come back to that. So then you answer the questions here and you give it a click next, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm just gonna jump through this because I'll come yep. back to it and do it at a later date. So you can jump ahead. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, yep. It gives you a bit of an idea of what yep. what is actually being looked for in this particular project. So that yep. your you've got some sort of framework to work with too. Okay, now when you get to things like this, these little buttons here will change color when you click on it. It'll go to another thing here. So they give you lots of information too. So make sure that you do click on these things. It's yep. not intuitive to click on them. Okay, so you've got an idea there, a bit of an, uh, a back button there. Through. Quite a long project this one there's videos make sure you watch the videos too yep. the videos are fantastic uh they're either this looks like a competition speech yep. it gives an idea of what uh, unfortunately when they're competition spe speeches you think oh my gosh i have to do it at that level remember yep. you're doing this at a club level these might have been competitions on the world stage so it's a yep. completely different area and by the time you get to that level there, basically people are professional speakers. Mm -hmm. So always just glean some information out of that, learn from what they do. Okay, get through. Okay, now that's the same link there, the project checklist. Yep. Okay, now when you get to this particular page, and this is across the board with all of the pathways, is you'll get three different things. I'm yep. holding up three fingers, not four. Uh, yep. Three different things to download. So your evaluation resource, I always click on that too and download that into my personal Dropbox folder. So I've got that there ready to go. Even if, if possibly the best thing to do is when you do come to present that speech, print this out for your evaluator. Yep. Okay, so you're prepared for your evaluator come back to so many things up on the screen it's really easy to get lost and then you can print your project mm -hmm. this will open up as a pdf so you don't have to print it again you can save this as your own pdf file, um, yep. file. so you can just refer to that when you're offline so there's three documents there that you can save yep. okay and once you do, as you can see here, you've got an assessment of your skills after you actually pre present that speech. So you'll, you'll come back to this, reopen it, yep. go through to your post evaluation. Mm -hmm. So just be careful not to go and start answering questions because it, it's not really, it doesn't make it really clear that yep. this is an after fact. And once this is done, again, the Vice President of Education gets that bit of information to say, hey, Corner, Garish, they finished their project. So that goes into the, it, it goes into the club records as in yep. like who's done how many speeches and, and the club is actually assessed on how many speeches that are done, how many people, how many people go through their levels. There's yep. all these different criteria that Toastmasters look at. So luckily being a big club, there's not a lot of pressure to get all your speeches done. So you can take your time with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is there, do you, either one of you have any questions so far or anything like that? You both uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you've got to this, Andrea, but in terms of um, like signing up for speeches on the meeting agenda, like mm -hmm. how would you go about doing that? Oh, right. All right. That's the juicy stuff. This is a good bit. Do you have any questions, Porna? Um, I'm fine so far. Thanks. Fine so far. Okay. All right. So when, once you do this yourself, some of these things will 
click into place a little bit too. Yep. Okay, so good question, Grish. This is why I am prepared. Now, once you have access to the Franks and Toastmasters Club website, you just click through to the agenda where you think that you'll be presenting that speech. And this is usually populated out about a month ahead. Mm -hmm. At the moment, the next it's only we only have the next meeting. So let's click on that one there. Now, I clicked on this earlier today to see what was what roles had already been filled. Yeah. And I thought, no, I'll, I'll just do it, isn't it? There was, uh, um, yeah, there was only one speech here. I'm not going to do a speech myself. But if you would, if you were going to, you would sign up, you would click the sign up button. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really important here is you actually have to do drop down what the actual speech is mm. and so you, you'll have to go through scroll through everything here like the elective so let's say it was that know your sense of humor so there it is there so i would drop that in there now what that means is the project description and the evaluation form get populated in behind this So that means that somebody else who's actually going to do the evaluation on you, they might click on the evaluation form and print it out at home even before you get to a, a meeting. Or they might even just do this online, fill it out electronically and forward it from there. So you pop in your project title and then a small introduction and that's for the Toastmaster of the evening. And then they, they can sort of weave that into their Toastmaster of the Evening magic that they do. <laughs> so this is all about making it as easy as possible for the for everybody, really. So it's really important to get these details in here and really, really, um, really important to drop that into the exact role that you're, you know, the, the exact speech that you're doing. And I've just got a bit distracted there because what's really interesting is that I'm actually on motivational strategies and it shows up there as dynamic Dynam leadership. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you pick up on that too? Mm. <laughs> okay, there might be a little bit of a bug in the system there. Yeah. These things happen, all right. Mm. And then really important is to come back. It's possible this is also covered in that, under that pathway. Yeah, it, I think there is another pathway called dynamic leadership. Though. Which may also have that uh, unit oh, as Oh, well. okay. I've got what you, that's right. Exactly. Because it's not every part. It, there's a lot of cross um, cross weaving within those. Pollination, parts. yeah. Yes, that's a good point. Good point there. Most yeah. important thing to do, though, is save project details. And that'll save that onto this agenda. Yep. Okay. So I won't save that. But while we're in here too, so it's a good opportunity to actually look at, at maybe you want to do timekeeping role or, mm -hmm. or grammarian or those sorts of things. Click the sign up button there. And that way those roles are actually filled before we get to the meeting. Yep. And if you're going to be absent or anything like that, or you have a, a small thing to say here, you yep. can actually just pop that into the agenda there. You just make a little note that you might be uh, not be able to make it and then save meeting notes. So does that answer your question there, Karish, about? Uh, it does, yeah. Yeah, it is all clear now about how we can sign up with the different pathways here. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good system that we've got here with pathways and with how this particular club actually utilizes this particular agenda system. It works brilliantly for yeah. just quickly just logging on, seeing who's doing things, who's doing a speech, and uh, so you, you can pick your um, you can pick your targets as well. So <laughs> I, do, I noticed that um, for this particular week that Loretta is doing a speech, and oh sorry, a speech one is done by um, Peter, yeah. and Loretta's all she's just dived in there to take the opportunity to do the evaluation. Evaluation. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, Okay, so I'll stop sharing.
And is there anything else that you can think of right now that we could always have, like something might come to you during the week. So please ask me next week when we're back face to face. The only observation I have made is um, this takes us to just the next meeting. Um, so being new to the club, if I want to say book my icebreaker speech in say two months time or a month's time, mm -hmm. um, I think I got to wait till it opens up for Ex exactly. next month. Yeah. 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 It depends on the that person operating that they they might do four agendas all at once. So it might yep. pop them okay. out into uh, in a month. Or, sure. Or yeah. It might even be eight, uh, four meetings ahead as well. So, which yep. is basically two months. Yep. Uh, so it just depends on that particular person there. Girish, you were about to say something. Oh, no, I'm just saying that I think I'm okay for the moment. So but yeah, Bruno, if you have questions, then yeah, yep. go ahead. Excellent. Well, that's sort of like what I was going to cover tonight without being hopefully too overwhelming. But most important thing is download your your project. Yeah, keep a keep a little file somewhere. Folder, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it keeps it makes it easier to when you have to go to your that project or whatever that you can just dive into it right away. That it's not sort of lost amongst a, a mess there. Uh, keep have a Toastmasters uh, folder somewhere and then just do your level one and then what and then your subfolders from there. That's just me being sort of super organized. Yeah. <laughs> but when things go awry, they really go awry really badly. <laughs> like trying to get the microphone working. 